Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This video is sponsored by my Patreon and because it originally aired on my Patreon, I had to change out a lot of the photos that I use for it for being too explicit as YouTube has certain policies about explicit photos. So make sure to visit my Patreon linked below for the original video as well as videos about Taylor Swift, Beyonce, and many other celebrities. Giselle Bunchen was born on July 20th, 1980, in state of Rio Grande do Sul, Brazil. To parents Vanya, a bank clerk pensioner, and Valdir Bunchen, a sociologist and writer. Giselle has five sisters and a fraternal twin named Patricia. Here is Giselle and her fraternal twin. Now Giselle is sixth generation German Brazilian and can speak English, Italian, Spanish, and some French. Originally, Giselle aspired to be a volleyball player, but joined a modeling class with her sisters Patricia and Gabriela in 1993 because she wanted to correct her bad posture. The following year, she was discovered by elite model management at a shopping mall in Sao Paulo. From there, Giselle was selected for Elite's Look of the Year contest, in which she placed second. And you guys, she was only around 13 or 14 years old in these photos. In early 1995, at around the age of 14, Giselle moved to Sao Paulo to launch her modeling career. She got her first break in 1996 at New York Fashion Week. Something interesting is that Giselle is heavily credited as ending the era of the overly skinny heroin chic look that was such a trademark of the 1990s. Giselle helped to usher in a sexier look with curves, although this sexier look was still on a very skinny frame. In looking at her photos from that time frame, I was shocked to see just how large her chest was for a runway model. Even considering that she started the healthy and curvy look as they called it back then, these breasts would be a hard no on a typical runway model. Even nowadays, I do hope that one day they bring this look back because she looks amazing. Let's start with Giselle's natural beauty traits. I love Giselle's eyes. They're beautiful and almond shaped and best of all, hooded. Even a young Giselle had hooded eyes. As if you need any more proof that hooded eyes are beautiful and should be left alone unless the skin starts to hang in front of your line of vision, here it is. The highest paid model in the world has gorgeous hooded eyes. Her face shape. I love her overall face shape. She has a mature and elegant, longer face, even as a young model, though in her youth her face was a bit shorter than it is today. Now, can we even be having this conversation about her beautiful traits and not talk about her amazing hair? It's Giselle's hair that launched an era of the beachy wave look, and I love it. And of course, Giselle's amazing body proportions is what really seals the deal, giving her her gorgeous overall model-esque look. Giselle is a kibby type flamboyant natural, like most supermodels tend to be. She stands at 5 foot 11 inches. But is Giselle naturally beautiful or is she naturally beautiful but also perfected? Well, I think the answer is she's been perfected as well as being naturally beautiful. The first plastic surgery procedure that I believe Giselle had done was a breast augmentation sometime early in her career as we already see evidence of her breasts being enhanced here on the runway in 2000. As I said earlier, her breasts were a lot larger than typical runway models' breasts are usually. Now, before anyone says, she's always had large breasts. Well, yes, she did. But when I see her natural large breasts here and then contrast them with her breast here, it would be a hard, if not impossible, sell to convince me that these breasts are natural. They have the upper pole roundness as well as the overall round implant shape that's quite easy to make out under her skin as she was quite thin here. I think these early breast implants were probably silicone and most likely obtained overseas as during that time the United States wasn't doing silicone implants. She most likely had her breasts done in Brazil. Brazil is known for more natural looking breast implants. Giselle's next procedure was a rhinoplasty, sometime in the early 2000s. 
Her nose, which was once on the wider side, was made more narrow overall and more defined at the bridge. Something I really like about her nose job is that they didn't try to give her a cutesy upturned nose and they stayed true to her straight bridge and just chiseled down the bridge as well as narrowing the whole nose overall. They really kept it the same shape that it was and just adjusted the size and the definition of her nose. This rhinoplasty work was done very conservatively, but made a difference in bringing the focus back to her beautiful eyes. She really didn't need this rhinoplasty, but it looks beautiful. Now, remember those early breast implants Giselle had put in? Well, by 2008, she had had them removed. I believe that this removal was in preparation for the conception and eventual breastfeeding of her first child in 2009. Giselle is a huge proponent of breastfeeding, even going as far as to condemn those who choose to feed their babies baby food, saying, why would they want to feed their babies chemicals? Although she later apologized for that comment. But knowing how she feels about breastfeeding, it makes sense that she would have her breast implants removed prior to the baby. Now, Giselle did have her second child in 2012. And really up until 2015, I don't see any noticeable plastic surgery, which makes sense because during pregnancy, you're not allowed to have any sort of fillers or Botox. And I don't think that she'd be getting plastic surgery while being a new mother anyway. So it makes sense that in 2015, that's when we start hearing about Giselle getting plastic surgery again. Now in 2015, there were some photos of Giselle wearing a burqa snapped in France, leaving a plastic surgeon's office. The way people knew it was Giselle, despite her being covered from head to toe, was because she used her longtime personal chauffeur to drop her off wearing a burqa. And because she used the same chauffeur, this is how people were able to confirm her identity, as this chauffeur is her personal chauffeur who doesn't work for anyone else. Now, because Giselle is not of the Muslim faith, this was a misappropriation of religious garments, and people were justifiably upset. At the time of this happening, it was widely reported that Giselle had had both her breasts and her eyes done. Now, the price of this procedure that she had in France was quoted as being 11 grand, but I do think this is false. I don't think that this has been established as the true price, and I really don't think that 11 grand would even cover one of the procedures she's had. Giselle later admitted in a book that she did get breast implants during that time in 2015, though she regrets getting them done. She said that while breastfeeding both children, they both preferred her left breast so that it left her breasts uneven after breastfeeding. So that's why she chose to have the implants. And I do see these new breast implants and these implants were quite a bit smaller than her original breast implants. And with the breastfeeding of two children, I think that Giselle needed to get both implants and a breast lift. To my knowledge, she didn't admit to them being her second pair of breast implants, but we do know that people like to pick and choose what they'll admit to, as we often see in Hollywood. Now let's talk about Giselle's backside. Giselle has always been very slender with a small perky butt that fit her body perfectly. After two pregnancies, her butt did begin to sag and lose volume, as we see in these photos. This is something that's completely normal and common after most pregnancies. But around 2015 and after, we start to see a different butt on Giselle, a butt that has more volume, especially at the top of the butt. So I do see that Giselle had fat added to the top of her butt to give it more volume and to fill it out more. Some may call this a Brazilian butt lift, but another way to think of it is Giselle simply had a fat transfer to her butt to fill it out and give it more volume. Now there really isn't much difference between a Brazilian butt lift and a fat transfer to the butt. A fat transfer to the butt is just a smaller version of a Brazilian butt lift. Now regarding Giselle having an eye job, I do think that this is true, that she had an upper blepharoplasty. It was very conservative. And I just see less hooding to her upper eyes in general, where she didn't have a noticeable lid, 
now you see a small lid. I think that this blepharoplasty was ultimately not as aesthetic as it could have been because in certain lights, you can still see small fat or extra skin layer laying on top of her upper lid. I feel like maybe this was a failed blepharoplasty, which can happen about a year after having one done. What happens is the tendons lose connection with the upper lid muscles and the upper lids begin to droop again. Having this corrected though is a more risky procedure, so I'm not surprised that she didn't attempt to correct the blepharoplasty. Her eyes still looked amazing in makeup and it was hard to tell that the bluff had failed. Update, in 2022, looking at this photo Giselle posted, I believe that she has had that failed blepharoplasty revised in a blepharoplasty revision as the upper eyelids look clean and even now with no excess flesh or skin hanging above them. She looks great. I also noticed that there was either a dermal filler or some fat placed above her upper eyelid, filling in this area of volume loss, and that did a lot for her eyes, making them look more youthful and giving them that pop even more than they had already. She looks beautiful. Now let's talk about filler and Botox. I think that Giselle gets lip filler to both compensate for lost volume to her lips and also make them a touch larger. And of course, Giselle gets Botox maintenance, in particular to her eyes, forehead, and crow's feet. When Giselle smiles, she has very few dynamic wrinkles around her eyes, although they're not completely without wrinkles. Botox injectors tend to not get rid of all the lines as that wouldn't look natural. But just because you see lines on someone doesn't mean that they don't get Botox. Let's add up Giselle's procedures and find out how much it costs to look like Giselle Bunchen. First set of breast implants, 15,000. Nose job, 20,000. Breast implant removal, 5,000. Second set of breast implants and a breast lift, 30,000. Blepharoplasty, 10,000. Upper blepharoplasty revision, 20,000. Lip filler for multiple years, 15,000. Botox for five years, 25,000. Brazilian butt lift or a fat transfer, 30,000. Total cost, $170,000. What do you think of Giselle's procedures and her beauty overall? While researching her, I found a lot of opposing opinions on her beauty, more than what I usually see with celebrities. There seems to be a fair amount of people who didn't think she was beautiful, and an almost equal amount who thought there was no one more beautiful. I think it's this divergence in opinions that make her as popular as she is today. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you all enjoyed this Patreon-sponsored video. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and go check out my Patreon linked down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>